Hi, welcome to Rangoon's World. We're off on another adventure. See ya. Hey gang, it's Rangoon of Rangoon's World. And today's adventure takes us to beautiful Anna Maria Island, Florida. It's comprised of three towns, Bradenton Beach, Holmes Beach, and Anna Maria. And the Gulf Coast has three main beaches. It's Coquina Beach, you say Coquina, I say Coquina, Bradenton Beach, and Holmes Beach, H-O-L-M-E-S. They're all gorgeous turquoise waters along the Gulf Coast of Florida. The island is about seven miles long, actually 7.021 miles long, and about a mile and a half wide. And it's absolutely beautiful. Tons of great restaurants, wonderful, kind, friendly people, and loads and loads of water and ocean activities to do. They have weekend, night, week, and even month-long rentals, so there's plenty of rentals to, uh, to scoop up here. And I don't know if you noticed, but yeah, that's my rubber ducky shirt. So here we go at Anna Maria Island, Florida. It's gonna be a fun adventure. Grab a cocktail, throw on your seatbelts, and get ready for some adventure. See you in a minute, bye-bye. We're at the roundabout on Bridge Street. If anyone comes to Anna Maria Island, Bridge Street is the place that everyone has to visit. I'll go down and take you and show you some of the cool places. Right there, the very first place is called Island Time. It's a really cool bar, great drinks, always have live music. And at nighttime, it's really cool because it's dark in there and they have the whole ceiling with these little white lights. It almost feels like you're underneath the stars. So Island Time's a great place to grab a cocktail, maybe head over to the beach or just listen to some music with your friends. Gonna go down Bridge Street right now and check out some of the many places there. It's really, really a cool place. I am now walking down historic Bridge Street in Anna Maria Island. It's really quiet this morning, which is kind of nice because usually it's busy here, but it is just the coolest place. It has all kinds of fun little shops and restaurants and the darkery deck, which you can just barely see the sign because the sun is so bright, is a great place to go. There's a few of those around. There's another one of those that I know in, in Sarasota and also in St. Armand's Circle, but uh, the Dockery Deck, if you want frozen drinks that are to die for, that's the place you gotta go. So this street's probably only about a quarter mile long. It ends up at the uh, a dock and a pier that I'm gonna take you to in a minute, but it's a great place where you can park, get a cup of coffee, do a little bit of shopping, maybe grab a cocktail, and meet lots of friendly people. Bridge Street, Anna Maria Island. I think I might have timed this perfectly. Oh, and check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, all the pirates. Yeah, we got some of the local rum drinkers starting out early this morning. And I think we have some more of the parade coming as well, too. But maybe not. Great start to a Saturday morning. If there are any Moose Lodge members out there, I can pretty comfortably say that this is probably the best Moose Lodge in the country as far as view. It's right here on Anna Maria Island. They have rooftop, uh, a deck. They also have seating, you know, a section out on the beach that is just for the Moose members. You have to have a membership to come here. And uh, there's minimal parking, not a lot of parking, but there's minimal parking here. And a great place for cheap drinks, good bar food, and uh, just a great place to hang out. If you're a Moose Lodge member, man, when you come to Anna Maria Island, this is the one you have to visit. Hello again, I am on Coquina Beach. Earlier I said Coquise Beach, I always mess up the name, bad me. Um, 
Coquina Beach, it's the southernmost point of Anna Maria Island, and it's an absolutely gorgeous beach. It's nice and wide, white, sandy shores. And this morning, it's kind of cool because the lifeguard team over there is uh, playing a little volleyball, stretching out, getting ready to save lives today if they have to, even though it's a pretty calm day. And a really cool thing you can do here is the Coquina Cafe. It's right here on the beach. It's an awesome little cafe. They have an ice cream bar. You could go up there and grab a margarita or a captain and diet with lime. Uh, great food, sandwiches and stuff during the day. Over there you have the lifeguard tower. I love the lifeguard towers here. It kind of reminds me of Southern California and you know, 90210 in the days of uh, the cool lifeguard towers. They've got the dune buggies over there and the vehicles. God forbid they have to go out and save someone. So here we are at Coquina Beach. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful Saturday. And man, I don't know if there's anywhere else I'd rather be than right here. See you in a bit. At the very end of Bridge Street is the Anna Maria Oyster Bar, which is a great little place to come and have some awesome seafood. They have an amazing New England clam chowder, all kinds of versions of oysters, and really anything out of the ocean that they make is absolutely delicious. Small and quaint, they have an outdoor patio as well too, and it's really cool. It's right here at the end of Bridge Street. It's the Anna Maria Oyster Bar. You have to check it out. Good food, good people. Hey gang, if you're looking for things to do as well too, here's a few things you can do and you can book right online or you can book here at the pier. There's parasailing at BradentonBeachParasail.com and there's also dolphin tours at SeaDolphins.com. I've seen their boats and it certainly looks like people are having lots of fun. And over here you can go see Captain at Fish AMI Fishing Charters. They do uh, inshore and near shore, not deep sea fishing. They also do sightseeing, sandbar tours, uh, really good group. I met the captain a couple months ago. He's a really, really good guy. And also here at this little shop, it's right next to the Oyster Bar. You can rent fishing poles and you can fish off the dock, which is pretty popular to do. They have bait and everything you can rent right here. Of course, you're gonna need a fishing license. I'm not sure if they sell those or not, but I'll check out the dock here with you in a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you where I am, but I am gonna tell you that that mooring stone that you're looking at right there with the heart in it is a sought after treasure that many people come and try to find. And it really is the high point of their vacation because it's so cool and it's 100% natural. It's an old mooring stone and gosh, that thing might weigh a thousand pounds. I'm not sure, but it has a heart in it. And it is here in Anna Maria Island and I'll give you a hint. I don't know if I should give you a hint. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a hint. At the end of Bridge Street, walk along the pier. Good luck finding the heart mooring stone. Okay, gang, I couldn't have come here at a more perfect time. The sun is setting on the Gulf Coast and we're gonna see if we see the green flash. And if you don't know about the green flash, in perfect atmospheric conditions, just as the sun breaks the horizon, you'll see a green flash. And if I get this on camera, I will be so excited because I've only seen it once before. Let me zoom in a little more and let's see if we can get it. Once that sun starts going down, it's so amazing how quick it goes below the horizon. It's gonna happen here probably in the next 10 seconds. Here we go. Watch closely, and even if we don't see it, what a gorgeous sunset it is tonight. About 70 degrees, clear skies. Here we go. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. Didn't see the flash, but I tell you what, it doesn't get any better than that. Watching the sunset here, everyone comes down, brings a cocktail or two, some beach chairs, and in another 20 minutes or so, the skies will be orange, purple, pink. It's absolutely amazing here in the Gulf. Okay, on to our next stop. Hey gang, if you know me, you know that I'm forever searching for awesome tiki bars. 
Another Anna Maria favorite that you gotta check out, especially for sunset, is the Gulf Drive Cafe and Tiki Bar. Check that out. It's a double tiki bar. It's gigantic and it is right on the water. On this side is the big bar with a wraparound horseshoe bar. Then on the other side is just seating. And beyond that is a bunch of uh, tables with umbrellas that's right on the beach and you can watch the sunset. And they do make a awesome pina colada or actually any frozen drinks. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning and the bar's already filled. So I'm sure people are in the holiday spirit and they're uh, having their bloodies and getting things going. But um, yeah, the Gulf Drive Cafe and Tiki Bar is a must stop. Lots of fun, great drinks. All right, gang, if you're looking for something really fun to do with the family and you got an hour or so to kill, there's an awesome place right here on Bridge Street called the Fish Hole Adventure Golf. It's a miniature golf place, and I'm telling you, it is so cool. It'll, it's nestled inside of this little paradise with palm trees and little tiki huts and waterfalls. I'm gonna take a quick walk through here so you can check it out. It is so fun. Say hi, Tori. I <laughs> gotcha, busted. I'm busted. <laughs> You're awesome. This place is just, it's gotta be the coolest miniature golf place I've ever seen in my life. They've got a little Elvis and Christmas music playing. Waterfalls and fountains and every hole is absolutely the best. It a turtle pond What is? Turtle pond. Oh, there's an actual, okay, cool. Tor Ten what kind of turtles? Oh, really? Okay, cool. I gotta go check it out. Thanks, Tori. Okay. How sweet. Tori said there's a turtle pond back here with like 10 turtles in it. No sea turtles. Oh my gosh, check them out. Wow. Look at that. That looks like a, I think a possibly a painted turtle. There's a box turtle. Wow, how cool is that? Hi, buddy. You're just checking me out. I don't have any food for you. And I definitely don't want to give you my finger. Yeah, so what a cool place. I mean, just one of the best miniature golf places I've ever seen. Yep, right here off of Bridge Street. You'll have to come check it out. And of course, be careful because there is a manatee crossing and you don't want to get bumped by one of those big fellas okay as i listen to a little elvis and check out the palm trees i'm on to my next destination see ya hey bud you have a second to chat you got a quick second so I'm, uh, I'm doing a, a YouTube video here. Yeah. Tell me about the shuttle because I know once before we parked over by the beach yeah. and you picked us up and brought us over here so we didn't have to, because parking's a challenge, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, so it was me that picked you up. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, it probably was. I like to run out down to the beach anyway. This shuttle service provided by the city of Bradington Beach here. Right. And uh, the owner's name is Josh. And anyway, we have like two carts running through the day, all day long. Right. And there was one cart running at night. Uh, well, there, there are actually two or three carts running all the time. Okay. And what we do is we find you a parking space where you will not get a ticket or tow delay. Okay. And uh, the parking is all free. Drivers work for tips only. But Josh pays drivers, most of them anyway. Right. Not me, but uh, he doesn't like me. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> uh, We love Josh. Yeah, yeah, Josh do is that. a guy. He's yeah, a he guy. is. And uh, you know Josh, you said? I, I met him once before, yes. Where'd you meet Josh at? Where did I meet him? I don't, I, it's it's in the back of my mind. I think well, it was he's like a good guy. Anyway. A couple months ago, yeah. yeah and I've heard good guy. things about him. But yeah. he takes care of all the parking here. Oh, that's cool. And, so uh, like if I'm over in parking, uh, I find a spot over along the beach, but I need a ride into town, you guys will come and pick, pick you people should up. should have it right. There's phone numbers. We have numbers here, like this number here. And yeah, you gotta tell me the number because that's okay, well, important. You just have this card. It's on the on the white side, the bottom number there. 
you call that number and we'll come and pick you up. Okay, guys, there it is, 941-404-6240. And what's your first name? Harry. Okay, Harry, I'm Rangoon. It's nice to meet Rangoon, you, bud. Rangoon, have we ever met before? I think we have met before. I'm going to give you one of my cards. I have a YouTube channel and you're going to be on it. <laughs> okay, right. okay, buddy, Merry Christmas. Do you have a card with you now? I'm going to give you one right now, bud. Get one. Okay, cool, hang tight. Yeah. Okay, peeps, one of my favorite places on Anna Maria Island. It is called the Bridge Tender Inn, circa 1923. The Bridge Tender Inn, and they basically have this whole corner and across the street. They have a restaurant over here on the right with great seafood. You gotta get the Basa Bites, B-A-S-A -A Bites. Delicious white, flaky, fish with a delicious sauce and inside it looks like we've got some fun music that they're playing a little rocking around the Christmas tree with a violin how cool is that just a fun fun place and my favorite tiki bar in the area even though there's not much thatch on the roof because hurricane ian blew it off but this is the tiki bar and by the way my favorite seating is right over there it's an actual boat that they turned into a couple of booths i was here on a recent video with my daughter elena having pina coladas because we love pina coladas. And it's right here. It's right here on um, Sarasota Bay. And they do have a dock with first come, first come, first come, first serve parking or docking. But I do have to say that during the low tide time, it's really tough to get in here if you have any kind of a larger boat but these smaller ones get in just fine but anyway the bridge tender restaurant and tiki bar and it is without a doubt my favorite place and on sundays football sundays they're big pack of fans i thought that was you what's up brad i'll come see you in a minute buddy uh they're packers fans so there's always craziness going on here on football sunday the bridge tender inn and tiki bar you got to check it out see ya in case you wonder how i get around the islands oh yeah that's old tweety my vespa primavera 150 and boy is she fun if you see me scooting around don't hesitate to beep or offer to buy me a cocktail <laughs> have a great day all right, peeps, I am here at the awesome Beach House Waterfront Restaurant right on the Gulf Coast in Anna Maria. And it's just a great, great place to come. They have a fun little store where you can buy all kinds of really, really cool beach wear. And here's the inside of the place. Everyone here is friendly and wonderful. Hi guys, how are you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> they have a fantastic indoor bar, great wine selection. And here is the main restaurant. By the way, it's uh, midday and it's kind of quiet. There's not a lot of people. And then here's the outdoor restaurant, which is absolutely stunning. They have a great bar, and my favorite place to sit is right here on this side, looking out at the Gulf. And like I said, it's, it's later in the week during the day, the lunch crowd has left, but come on, man, does it get any better than this? Look at that. We just had a storm come through, so the water's a little choppy, but this is the view here at the beach house. It doesn't get much better than this, man. 
the Gulf of Mexico, the waves crashing. A couple of high school boys over there throwing the football around. The storm clouds are just starting to head out. Old Sonny's trying to peek its way through. Right now we're looking north on Anna Maria Island towards Bean Point and Manatee Beach, I believe. And then as we look south, right around that lifeguard tower over there is Cortez Beach, Coquina Beach, and then Longboat Key. And this is what the restaurant looks like from the sand. You gotta come here, man, I'm telling you. Beach House Restaurant, they have a new chef starting in January 23, and I'm sure they're gonna be whipping up some great meals. But one of my favorites to get right now is the fish tacos, and I believe it's the short rib tacos. They're both to die for. Check it out. Hope to see you here soon. See ya. I know that barbecue is not synonymous with Florida, but I have to tell you, you gotta come and see Andy at the Smokehouse, S-M-O-Q-E house. They have the best barbecue around. And you can't miss it because it's got this old, I think that's an old Ford 3100 right in front. And how can you miss the smoking bull? If you could smell the smoke right now, you would be drooling, I promise you. So the smokehouse, come here a fair amount of times and I love the brisket. Here's their menu. And the brisket is awesome. And here's some of their um, weekly specials. Hey guys. So the smokehouse, you gotta check it out. And there's Andy right there. Handsome fella. Was just talking with him. I need to appreciate your business. Gotta come to the smokehouse if you want some awesome barbecue. The smoking bull. Now that is one ugly grouper. Okay, gang, another stop on our Anna Maria Island tour. It is the ugly grouper. How you doing? It's really, really a cool restaurant. One of my favorites. It's all outdoors. Um, a cool vibe. It's a kind of quiet afternoon. It's before the dinner rush. And we're going to go over and sit with my buddy Montana. Hey, Montana, how are you? Doing good. How's it going? Awesome. Montana is the manager in charge. And how can he not be a cool guy when he's named after? Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Was that dad that named you that after? That was dad. Yes, sir. How, was dad, a, was, was he 49ers? Um, he was just a big sports fan overall. But um, but Montana was 49ers, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Four okay. Super Bowls. <laughs> Four Super Bowls. You can't beat that. I actually met him in Vegas once. No. Nope. Many years know? ago. Yeah. <laughs> before I knew you. <laughs> so Montana is the manager here at the Ugly Group. But what a great place, yes, bud. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How fun is it? Oh, it's so fun. Uh, great place to visit. Great place to work. Uh, family friendly vibes. Um, we got live music seven days a week from five to eight. Um, seven days a week, five to eight. Five to eight, yes. What kind of music? Um, family friendly music. Um, you know, like the the most popular tunes. Cool. A little bit of rock, country, stuff like that. Excellent. Yes, sir. Excellent. And tell me about the menu. I think my favorite is uh, is it the ugly clam chowder? So the ugly clam chowder is house made, um, delicious. I'd say the best on the island. Really? Yeah. Um, our best selling item here is our grouper tacos. Um, it has a really cool cheese fan, which, which gives it a really good appearance that no one else will have. Excellent. Um, also, um, we're voted the number one best tasting grouper sandwich on the island. Excellent. And we get our grouper fresh daily. Excellent. Yes, Excellent. but we also have something for everybody. So if you don't like seafood, you know, we got some for you. Okay, so um, so basically what you're eating for dinner was swimming in the morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the background here at the Ugly Group? How long has it been around? Um, so it's been around for five years. Excellent. Um, it's went through some changes. 
um, but we've been growing exponentially the past couple years. Very cool. Um, so we're just really starting to take off. Very cool. And I notice over there is the uh, the stage for music. And then in the back, you have that ring toss game, a yep, bunch yep. of the ring toss we have, game. We have the ring toss and we have cornhole. We got games for the kids. So bring them all down with you. Excellent. So check it out, everyone. The Ugly Group. And I notice you have some logo to wear over there as well, too. Absolutely. Which my daughters will all be yeah, wanting some. So we have a, a, a nice options of retail over there. And if you dine in with us, you get a 10% off discount with all your purchases. Excellent. That's wonderful. Well, I wish you the happiest of holidays and give me a bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Come on down, guys. Thank Come you. on down. See ya. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to end this video than to be here at the Anna Maria Island Beach Cafe. They have all you can eat pancakes for breakfast, wonderful lunch fare like burgers and such, and ice cold drinks right there at the Tiki Bar. I'm gonna see if I can find a pina colada even though it's not noon yet. So enjoy the video. I hope you had fun. I sure had fun making it and as I fade off and I look at the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. I ask you if you like the content to please like, subscribe, set up notifications, and I can't wait to meet you on my next destination adventure. Bye-bye now.